smallest is the uh, saw wet and the screech owl. This is their two color phases of screech owl. The uh, gray phase, which this one's a gray phase, and there's a red phase. This time of year you'll hear them screeching around. And they have a trill and they have a horse whinny, so this is the breeding time of year. So if you live by a stream in a wooded area, this is the time of year you'll hear them, you'll hear them making the noises. What do they eat? Do they they'll eat mice, voles, they'll eat, um, uh, they'll eat crickets, katydids, they'll eat uh, frogs if they get a chance, but mostly warm birds. Right? They use those big eyes, you know, and, that, uh, and very good hearing to be able to hunt at night. Their feathers are very soft, so that makes them you know, um, silent hunters. What's really interesting about uh, owls is that there, there is a... Uh, every owl, just about every owl in the state has a counterpart during the daytime. So what you have is the screech owl, its counterparts the, uh, the uh, kestrel. So, uh. so the kestrel, the saw wet owl would be, there's a smaller falcon. The, um, then you have the, uh, great, the red tail hawk would be the great horned owl. The red shoulder hawk would be the barred owl. So just about everybody has you know, a There's daytime. a famous red tail hawk that... Yeah, that's right here. Yeah. yeah. yeah there's quite a few. Now, where did this all come from? This came as a rehabilitator. Uh, rehabil he, 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 Oops. That's why I, <laughs> uh, came from as a rehabilitator. He was injured. And that's the only way you can keep these owls, yeah. is that they can't be released. He doesn't like the noise in this cart, so he's going to flip out a little bit. It's okay, a little bit. It's okay. It's okay. Look at me. Look at me. Yeah, she like that kind of noise. Yeah. So... Do you know where this one came from? This one came from around uh, New Haven area. New Haven, yeah. New Haven. But it's about nine years ago, so she's uh, she's been with us. She's been with us eight years now. Any idea what happened to this one? Don't know. I mean, a lot of times these animals get injured by, could be injured by hitting a tree, hitting a, uh, hitting a window. Uh, sometimes uh, they'll be caught by a cat. Yeah. Sometimes, um, sometimes a bigger owl will attack them. So all we know is that she has a broken wing and she can't fly. Oh. And once the wing's broken... You can try to set it, but this was it was not successful to set this one. Yeah. Okay, there you go. Jump over here. What you want? You want to come back over here? Ooh. Ooh. It's a uh, beautiful bird. She is pretty. She, yeah. We use her for education programs at the zoo all the time. She's used to coming out. But every once in a while, they'll bait like that. So oh, sure. No, no reason. Well, it's not that she's upset. She just she just, uh, she just does it. Mm -hmm. and, you know, we're not quite sure why. And she goes right back to speed. So. Thanks for bringing her in. You're welcome.